to on behalf of so i welcome you on behalf of uh, railway academy and uh, ramaya university of applied sciences and i'm 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 very happy uh, that uh, you've joined this you've taken out your precious time to join this career webinar so let us start today's webinar so uh, first and foremost thing which i'd like to share is that uh, we've designed this webinar for a certain uh, group of engineers so who should attend this webinar is something i would like to clarify in the beginning itself so if you are an engineer who's passionate about core engineering like if you passed out from ece or e and you want to work in this domain of electronics and electrical engineering uh, this webinar is meant for you so next 45 to 50 minutes will be very very uh, fruitful and uh, rewarding for you so all those who want to work with core engineering and uh, a sector must attend this webinar so i can assure you you'll draw a lot of value the second point is uh, if you are a fresher engineer you've just passed out this year and we all understand because of covid the placement scenario in india is really awkward at the moment so uh, there could be a possibility that you might have not got any placements from your campus and you're right now struggling to start your career so if this is the situation with you this is the webinar you must attend the next 45 minutes we'll talk uh, a lot about how to start career how to uh, start a high growth career in railway signaling so we'll spend a good amount of time explaining we'll give you proofs of a letters and we'll showcase you how engineers like you have managed to build a career in railway signaling so this will give you a lot of understanding and perspective so third uh, if you are a working professional you already you are an engineer you already working with a company you already doing something but somehow you feel that you know that uh, you're not getting the career growth you're looking at or probably you you stuck in a low paying job so you know the the, the payouts in your job are not commensurating your uh, uh, qualification and knowledge at the moment so this webinar will help you uh, understand a new area which is emerging in india and abroad also uh, in railway signaling where a lot of new engineers are being required so uh, this the next 45 to uh, minutes to 1 1 hour will be uh, all about giving you uh, methods and ways by which you can build a railway career the fourth uh, very important segment so uh, so a lot of engineers are today after their engineering preparing for government and psu job exams huge competition the success uh, ratio the success probability is really really low uh, and in spite of you putting in so much of hard work into preparing for uh, these exams it's it's is more of a luck factor than a hard work factor most of the times so if you are an engineer who has spent one or two years three years into preparing for railways or psu job exams or government uh, bank pu exams and right now feel that you know uh, you want to do you want to restart your career with in private sector but not sure how to do it you know how to you know fill that three years of gap which you have or which you have invested in government job preparation so we will showcase a way we will demonstrate a way for you to how to restart your career in engineering a good high growth career uh, after you've spent two to three years preparing for government job entrance exam so these are the four types of people four categories and segments of people who should attend this webinar fresher engineers people who are passionate about core engineering professionals who are stuck in a low paying job without a clarity of high growth career growth or engineers who are who are tired of preparing for government job job entrance exams and want to restart your career in private sector so so all of these uh, should attend the this webinar now uh, how will be uh, we'll be structuring the whole webinar today what all what all points so before we start that let me give you a small introduction about uh us so we are uh, uh i am sumit i represent railway academy it's a training company and we run a a post graduate diploma program in railway signaling and telecommunications engineering with uh, uh, two universities in india one is rayat bahara university mohali and second one is ramaya university bangalore so ramaya university is one of the top 3 universities in karnataka so uh so we managed to start this program in 2016 where uh, we give placement assurance guarantee to all the people who attend this course program so that means that we give them a guarantee that uh, uh, 
uh, for placements in good companies, the company's names. So we managed to place uh, uh, engineers in, in companies like Hitachi, Ansaldo, Alstom, Cyan, Texmeco, Siemens, Railtel. So all of these people are currently working. I'll showcase you all the proofs as we go ahead with the presentation. So today, uh, so these are some of the people you saw the videos also. So, you know, uh, all those people who are uh, talking about in the videos before the webinar started, so you can see people are working at various, uh, uh, so all these are the companies and the packages at which they are working. So, so we placed about 150 plus people in the last three years in various companies uh, in railway signaling, all with top-notch companies of the world. Now, today in next one hour, what are we gonna be covering? This is a very important point. Uh, so first thing, uh, so one of the things that we'll cover that, how can you start your career with top MNCs at a starting salary of around four lakhs and above? Uh, what is railway signaling and telecommunication engineering? A lot of you would not be knowing about it. So we'll give you a brief explanation. We have a very renowned expert with us today, Mr. Narayan Parvatikar, who will be talking about the technical aspects of railway signaling and telecommunications. So that you get an idea about it. Next is what are the career opportunities in this field, India and abroad also. So we'll, so this uh, railway signaling and telecommunication career is not only an India's focused career. So uh, you have a lot of opportunities outside India, Middle East, uh, uh, Australia, Malaysia, then uh, UK, uh, US. So a lot of opportunities are there. A lot of Indian companies are sending people, qualified people abroad to work on various projects. So we'll talk about that. Uh, there is a, 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 an aspect of international licenses. So in railway signaling, there is a provision of getting licenses to work uh, in railway industry worldwide. And we'll talk about those licenses also briefly today, that how uh, this, these licenses can actually help you, you know, uh, grow your career by three years. Suppose you're earning 10 lakhs in India. If you've taken license, how can, can you start earning more than 30 lakhs, 40 lakhs with just uh, a license provision? So we'll talk about that. What is the career roadmap and what you can expect earning in uh, next three to five years or 10 years in this field. Uh, we'll also talk about what are the skill sets companies are looking for. And we will also showcase you some offer letters which our students have generated um, after the course and a little bit introduction about the course to go forward. So this is the structure of next 45 to uh, 45 minutes to one hour is what we'll be talking. So let's, let's start the, uh, session today. So uh, I would like to invite uh, our master trainer and academic director, Mr. Narayan Parvatikar, who has uh, 27 plus years of experience in Indian railways to uh, take this session forward and explain you what is railway signaling and what is stored for you uh, as, a, as a signaling engineer. So I, I welcome uh, Narayan, sir. Yeah, good evening to all. This Bye. is Narayan Parvatikar. I work with the railways for almost 30 years. I request uh, guys to kindly put off your videos, please. Right. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. So I put off my, uh, are you giving me control, uh, Sumit? Sir, I'll, I'll manage the control. Let me know. Okay. Take, right. Uh, you just be here. Sir, uh, would you, do you have the presentation open, sir? I have in fact, but I I have, I have to open it. I I, I have it. Sir, if you Hello, could open it. Yes, let's let's open it, sir. If you could open it. Yeah, you can stop sharing. I'm sharing. No problem. Yes, sir. Right, sir. Just. And you don't play with the way of a PPT, please. Yeah. So okay. So uh, as we go through the presentation, if you have any questions, please keep writing your questions in the chat box. We will take up all your questions. Uh, towards the end of the presentation. So me and Narayan sir will answer all your questions. And uh, so keep writing your questions and doubts and queries uh, as you get during the presentation in the chat box. So, uh, and we will take up your questions and answer them all one by one. So I worked with the radius of almost 30 plus years then with the different companies for almost 15 plus years. And by profession, I'm a signal engineer, a trainer in the railways. My journey started way back in 1977. And till today, 
we are uh, conducting the training and we are training different people especially on this railway academy platform let us go here with the specialized career in railway engineering something very special niche area it is you may have different questions here in the mind kindly go through the presentation most of your doubts will be clear during the presentation itself however you are still left with some doubts definitely we are here to help you to clear your doubts what is exactly the railway signaling means let us see here you go to a station you do go to a station either to receive your guest or to board the train to go to next station as a passenger probably you may not have more ideas about the railway working just you casually go to station and uh, you will be waiting on the platform to see whether your train is coming on the particular platform there can be an announcement so and so train is coming on platform number 1 or wherever you are waiting and you also have some boards there which will display where exactly your coach will come which will guide you to go to that coach how your train comes on this particular platform where you are standing there are number of lines in the station how the driver is taking this train on this your platform and how he is stopping the train exactly the required coach in front of you there is a, a sort of interest probably you have not thought of it till today you are seeing some signals also at the end of the platforms some signals red some signals yellow in color some signals may be on the platform itself a sort of curiosity here some other day one electrical engineer was speaking with me he said sir i want to become a signal engineer can you give me two hours training i said do you want to become a signal engineer you are a electrical engineer you want only two hours training yes what is there sir there is only on red light yellow light and green light what is there in uh, signaling if that is the signaling probably whatever i have worked for over, almost about 40 plus years in the signaling including my seniors and my colleagues we have to think of whether is it only red green and yellow signal light it is not so there is a technology behind that there is a very big very big technology which probably as a common man we will not be doing we need to learn the subject here the subject is railway signaling there are few departments in the railway which are not common to the public whatever you see standing on the platform the station master the ticket collector or the driver of the train the guard who is in the last coach of the train they are all like hero heroines on the screen on the white screen on the silver screen but to make them hero heroines there is good lot of force behind the screen who is working for them maybe a director maybe a right script writer maybe a cameraman a spotlight guy a editor a music director a background singer there are number of people who are making these two characters are hero and heroine whom you are seeing on the screen and appreciating signaling department is one of the department which is working behind the screen to run a train punctually to run a train safely to take the passengers from one station to another station to your destination safely it is a technology by itself it is not taught in any colleges in india we have started this academy maybe some small institutes here and there maybe there on in india we are who are teaching this railway signaling or railway technology this is the niche area very special area technological area we call it as signaling and telecommunication yes and t some people used to tell it as sit and talk sugar and tea but i definitely i say it is a science and technological department 
whatever you are learning, you are applying here. Day in and day out, there are, there are challenges. If you are ready to face the challenges, and at the end of the day, be happy, be contented. To solve those challenges, probably this is the best career you can choose. There is no dearth of jobs here. There is no shortage of jobs. In India, we had IT uh, companies, some downfall was there. Many people lost the job way back in 2000, 2010, again in 2020, maybe due to Corona also. Many companies shut down their gates, their business. Many people are jobless. None of the company in India and also in globe, across the globe, a signaling company never closed its business, never make, made its employees to go out. Day in and day out, we are still seeing the people who we want at particular area, in particular specialized areas, we are not able to get the qualified person. What is the reason for that? Before that, let us see here. This is another railway yard, a railway station. We do have zigzag lines, so many lines. How a train is getting directed from one line to another line? It is having a particular track, a permanent way, a railway guide. On that right of way, a path, on that only a train has to run. It cannot run like a road. How it will go from one line to another line? Who will guide them? Who will drive them? Who will control the speed? In what way signals are helping the driver to take the train on these lines? This is a technology by itself. A very interesting technology when you study here. You have seen, or Mr. Sumit was mentioning, we have put almost about 150 people, 150 plus people on the job. All those 150 people were like you, who joined the training. They did struggle in learning the studies. Let me make it very clear, my friends. This technology is new. Unlike any other certificates, what you get from academic qualifications, it is not like that. Certificate may be mandatory, but wherever you are applying for a job or going for a job, you have to be thorough with the topics, subject. It is your bread and butter for throughout the life. You can excel here to any extent. You can learn here any extent. Even after 45 years of my experience in railways, I am still learning. I want to learn. There is a vast subject. It is like an ocean. We know few drops of that. Such a beautiful technology. And the technology is globally universal. The red signal is a danger. Train has to stop. This concept is throughout the world. If you are okay, if you are learning Indian railway signaling technology, you can be, you can work. You are fitting in any countries where you are going to work. The technology is like that. There is a struggle here. We have to struggle here and we have to learn it sincerely. Kindly do not play with the PPT, please. My request to all, kindly do not play with the PPT and put the lines on that. So this is how the technology goes here. The journey of the railway signaling started way back in 1830. Please don't play with the PPT, please. Kindly make the decency, kindly maintain the decency. So the railway signaling started way back in 1830s. In 1830s in the world, when the first train ran, maybe in 1830-35, this was the way how the signals were shown to the driver, driver of a train. 
as the days passed, as the days continued, it went on taking the different forms. Improvements started coming up. And uh, you will be able to see the today's signaling. This probably you have seen maybe in some movies or maybe in some uh, on the railway track in the railway signaling, which is also is a dying technology now. Why I'm now emphasizing this is this is a growing technology. Why, when so many companies shut down their gates, why the railway signaling companies still are flourishing? It is because of the technology getting changed every year, every decade. There is a fixed period here. There is a life of life for the technology. After 15 years, 20 years, we have to change the technology. We have to change our equipment, even if it is working. It is a policy, not only on the Indian railways, but also across the world. As such, we will go with the new technology at that time. So it is a never-ending process. As the railway journey started way back in 1830, till today, the journey is going on, and it, it will go on. When we entered the railways way back in 70, 77 or 80, we never thought the railway is going to have, Indian, uh, India will ha is going to have a metro uh, rail. But now there are different metro trains are available. That exactly now I'm going to tell you how to build a career in railways, what is process. That exactly we, we are now telling Mr. Uh, Ansari. So if you can kindly go through our my presentation, you'll be able to understand more in detail. However, if you have any doubts, yeah, you are welcome to ask at the end. This is another form of signal again. And presently, you are seeing these signals, where we call it as a color light signal. The signal which is shown to the driver in the form of color. This is a Kindly do not play with the PPT, please. Yeah. So this is how the... Mr. Uh, Rajat Vivedi, please don't play with the PPT. Sumit, you can disable him. Yes, sir. I will do that. Do that. Yeah, please. Right? And uh, uh, this is how the signal is playing here. The, another form of signal was this. How it took. And uh, this is another form of signal. Now we are using the last one. Even the metro technology, we have the signal in the driver's room itself, driver's cab itself. That is the technology of present world. There is one thing here which is called an interlocking, which is the heart of the signaling system. The interlocking ensures the safety of the train. This is the backbone of railway signaling and safety in the running of the train. You will be learning about mainline and loop line in the train in the classes when you join Mr. Mishraji. Mainline is the line on which the train will be going with the maximum speed in the station. Each station will have a mainline. Loop line is the line where the train is getting diverted. For example, you are standing on the platform, platform number one, when the train will come, that line is called as loop line. There, the train will go slowly. But on main line, the train will be running with high speed. So now we're coming to the interlocking. These are all the concepts you will be studying more in detail in this, in this case, in this course. I really appreciate the interest and also I appreciate the knowledge what we are having here. The interlocking, let us see here. At the end of the training, fine, one day you are reaching your home and you are climbing the step and going home. After the training, I am yet to get a job, I am yet to get a job, you are thinking here. Once you are as the artist, you are going here, please wait till we answer question she can. So as you are going here, you got a message from the particular company. Congratulations. You are selected for this job. We have mailed you the detail. Now you are running. Once you run, 
there are few doors in the house you have to open. You are opening and uh, going inside. As you are going inside, again, a series of doors. We are again going, a surprise for you. You are passing these gates also again. And when you open the laptop and open the mail, wow, you see an offer letter. And you just shout that, yeah, I got the job, I got the job. You are so happy. This is nothing but interlocking. The activities which are going in serial order are called as interlocking, which we are achieving, which are learning, which is the backbone of the railway signaling, we will be learning here. And this interlocking ensures the safety of running of the train. This is one form of interlocking. In the olden days, this was the way how the interlocking was achieved. Mainly it is a process. Interlocking is a process. Process in the sense here, you are preparing a food in your house. Probably rice you are preparing in the house. Or dal you are preparing in the house. To prepare a rice, you require some ingredients. A raw rice, water, a vessel, and a fuel. Maybe your great-grandmother was cooking the rice on a firewood. Later, when your grandmother was, start, start, she started cooking, she started using the pump stove, the kerosene stove. And when your mother took over from her, she was using the LPG stores. And present generation, maybe your elder sister who is now married recently, working with a guy who is a signal engineer, she may be working cooking the food with microwave. The process has changed right from firewood to the microwave. But the ingredients are remaining the same. The rice, the water, and the vessel. Fuel has changed. The interlocking, what we are talking here, there are some rules. These rules are achieved to different means. In olden days, it was achieved in this fashion. A mechan it is called as a mechanical interlocking, what we call. Then we came with the relay interlocking, electromechanical devices. It came with the relay interlocking. If you see the relay interlocking, in any, every station, there is a relay room. If you can visit next time any station nearby to you, when you go there, by the side of station master's room, you have one relay room, relay cuts, where you will get the heart of the railway signaling system. This is the heart of railway signaling system. Number of nerves here, number of wires, lakhs of lakhs of wires, physically connected one by one by the technicians. And it is designed by a signal designer, a signal engineer. A beautiful technology to understand, a beautiful technology to learn, a beautiful regular technology to progress in the career, interlocking. We are not happy only with this interlocking. We are now going with, still with the microprocessors. We have microprocessors nowadays. Microcontroller signals. Signals are same. The equipment which is changing the track Train from one track to another track is same. But how they are integrated, how they are working, that is controlled by these different equipment, interlocking equipment. Maybe mechanical, maybe relays, or maybe this electronic equipment. The present technology with the electronic interlocking. And we all we do have the computer-based interlocking also for metro technologies. If you see here, in every station, you will see this panel, a human machine interface, or a panel, what, what you call a centralized panel, from where the station master will be controlling the complete station equipment. This is the technology you are going to design in this training. 
from where you are controlling the each and every signals of the station. A beautiful system in the station. We, we do have nowadays with the touch screen arrangement also. Even with the touch screen, we can control the various equipment in this station. You have seen a number of stations. For example, you are in uh, XYZ station. There may be MNY station by the side of your, uh, your city. Like that, number of stations are spread over on the Indian Railways. Indian Railways is having almost 7,000 plus stations on the Indian Railway network. These stations are located at a distance of around 8 to 10 kilometers. When they are located at a distance of 8 to 10 kilometers, the signals are confined to the stations. Whatever signals we talk, they are confined, they are limited to a station itself. In between two stations, in a distance of 8 to 10 kilometers, there are no signals. There are no protecting devices, but still a train has to run safely. In this area, which is called as block section, we have to run the train separately, safely. That is ensured by a system called as block system. You might have heard the world here called as line clear. The line clear is associated with the block working. When your elder sister is getting married or your elder brother is getting married, your friends will make a joke with you. Did you get a line clear? So that line clear is associated with this block signaling to deal a train in this block, which is the area between two stations. This is a technology by itself, which also you will be learning in this training session. The present era is the metro technology. Bangalore is having metro. We started first with the Delhi metro and the Kolkata metro. Now, a number of cities in India are coming with metros, followed by Bangalore, Hyderabad, then uh, Mumbai, Cochin, Jaipur, Nagpur, Pune. Even uh, Vishaka Bhattan is planning for metro. Number of stations are coming with the metros. Metro train is the technology presently, which is called as a driverless technology. The train will run without driver. But when you go to a metro, tra metro train, you will see still a, still a driver sitting there. The reason for a driver to sit there is, in emergency, if somebody is stuck up in between the doors, to open the door and again close the door, number one. Number two, People are still scared in India not to board a train which is not having driver. Just to give the confidence to the passengers, they are, don't worry, I'm here, I will ensure the safety, please board the train. Other than that, the driver will not have any control over the train, the speed of the train, stopping of the train, opening of the door, closing of the door, starting of the train, reaching the destination at right time. All these activities are done automatically and the communication is digital through the radio communication. This is the technology of today's. Metro trains are coming across the globe. In India itself, every city is now going for metro. This is one of the reasons why there is no shortage of people here. We are in need of signal engineers. We are in need of signal designers. We are in need of signal insulation engineers. Day in and day out, if you are following me on LinkedIn, you can see the advertisement what I'm giving there. How many people we require. So there is no dirt here. But definitely there is a struggle here to learn that. Unlike any other courses where you are getting the certificate and with the certificate is the pathway for you, a stepping stone for you to get a job. This is not like that. You have to burn the candles here in the night. You have to burn the lamps in the night. You have to study hard. More you study hard, 
more you gain the knowledge, more value you will have. That is Parshivar. Another item here will be a level crossing gate, what you call the railway product or railway gate, which is coming as a, in, as a safety item, which needs to be ensured that the gate interlocking, what you call. Whenever you stop at the gate, waiting for a few minutes, you get annoyed. And you will shout at the gate man, telling him to open the gate. Poor fellow, he cannot do it. His hands are tied. The interlocking ensures here that once the gate is closed and the signals are taken to green, till the train passes the gate, the gate cannot be opened. It is not under the control of gate man there. He can open it only when the train passes it. Then only he opens it. And once the gate is in open condition, the train will, signal will be always danger. Train cannot come. This is one of the example of the interlocking. So whenever you go next time to a gate, please ensure that have a patience. The gate is closed only for your safety as a road users. Have a patience till the train passes. Maximum you may have to wait for five minutes. Please do not take a chance of going below the gate and passing the road, passing the railway track. If due to some reason, unfortunately, if anything happens, any death happens, any injury happens, railway is not going to pay you any compensation. The railway will pay the compensation for the people, those who lose their lives, those who will die in accident, who are bona fide passengers, who is having a valid ticket and as a traveler, he's a passenger. Only for them, the compensation is announced, not for other persons. So do not take a chance of going below the gate. Your life is valuable. Wait for five minutes. Nothing is going to fall on the earth. Within five minutes, the train will come. Definitely waiting for five minutes is a Herculean task. But patience will work there. So this is one of the examples of a interlocking. Apart from this, if you come here, how the trains are getting controlled over a network of around 68,000 kilometers with 7,000 plus stations. When you go to a station, you will get the information. The train is coming at so and so, so, so and so time. Or nowadays you are getting on your mobile phone itself. At what time the train is coming to your station, expected station. Who is managing it? Who is controlling the trains? This is one of the technology of the signal and telecommunication department, which is called as train control system. For this purpose, the complete Indian railway is divided into different zones. As you know, there are 17 zones on the Indian railways. Bengaluru is coming under the Southwest zone. Hubli is the headquarters for that. And uh, being Bengaluru as a division, again in the zone, there are about four to five divisions are there. Bengaluru is one of the divisions. In the division, there are different tracks, different sections, different directions the trains are traveling. Maybe from Bengaluru, a train is going towards Hubli and towards uh, Chennai, towards uh, Guntakal, towards Mysore. There are different tracks, there are different ways how the trains are departing from Bangalore. These are bifurcated into different sections. And these sections are controlled centrally by a person called as a train controller. He will be sitting in his office like this. He will be controlling the complete stations from, for example, from Bangalore to Hassan or Bangalore to Mangalore. That complete station, maybe about 30 stations, he's controlling. He will be controlling all the train services. He will be directing the station master, which train will stop or what, how it will go, 
all the information he will be passing on he will be giving the instructions to the station master which is called as train control system 24 by 7 365 days the people are working all these guys the engineering department who are maintaining the railway track mechanical department who are maintaining and constructing manufacturing the engines and coaches the electrical department who are running the railway electrification the trains on electricity the signaling and telecommunication department people who are looking after the signaling wing and telecommunication wing the station masters who are the operators these are the people these are the people who are working as a backbone for railways who are running the trains 24 by 7 achieving the punctuality of the train they are supported by the signaling and telecommunication wing this is the train control system which is nowadays modernized you have even this is the uh, metro train control system from where you can see even see hardly few people are available in such a magnificent metro technology this is our hyderabad station hyderabad metro center where we have three different corridors covering about 70 plus kilometer all the trains are centrally controlled from this area from nagaur each and every trains are being monitored here that is how the metro technology is working and it is completely automatic automatic nobody to interfere there there are three people only to monitor it how it is going on if any hiccup comes immediately it prompts the people are getting alert and they will go and join attend the failures if any failures are coming a metro control center guys as we have here 700 plus years of service up till now only 600 have been modernized in the last two years there are yet to come many 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 stations are yet to be modernized for that we require a lot of people manpower is required technology is required day in and day out the technology is improving is getting modernized we have to upgrade upgrade our knowledge we have to learn more day in and day out it is a challenge for you it is a challenge for the present engineers the smart engineers the present generation use your knowledge use your skill when you are doing this course you are one of the best signal engineer in the world of the uh, signal ma- signaling market today we have the demand from the different companies that the pe- people who are those who have done the pg diploma for railway academy from railway academy are wanted that is the reputation we are having in the market presently since about 6 years we are running the courses and almost about 8 to 9 courses we have rolled out pg diploma courses apart from pg diploma we have many number of courses for the people who are already employed those who wanted to learn those who wanted to learn and continue with their journey of learning there is no course other than this this is the best course what we have Railway signaling is ever green career for people who are looking for high growth stability and respect all are together so you have already so much of metro trains are coming they are all in the pipeline good lot of people are required that but definitely one thing is here do not expect 10 lakhs 20 lakh your cities you on the day one definite the the path of the progress the path of the career has to be traveled foot by foot step by step if you want to go to 10th floor there is no lift here there is no shortcut here you have to climb all the steps the experience counts more we more your experience more you are valued more you have the knowledge more value you get so we are get to get metro rail mono rail light rail and you have the speed high speed corridors nowadays between ahmedabad to mumbai the bullet trains are in the pipeline many many technologies are yet to come we never thought of 
a train running more than 100 km per hour in our childhood or when I joined the railway. Now the trains are running with 150 km per speed. Last week, China ran, ran a train with 600 km per speed beyond the speed of a sound. That is the technology coming. The Hyperloop, which is tested in Dubai, is running with 1200 km per hour more than the what we expect. The journey between Pune to Mumbai, where it is planned, the Hyperloop, is within 45 minutes. The train is traveling. That is the technology in the coming days to come. And you are the people, those who are constructing the technology. You are the people who are maintaining the technology. You are the people who are learning the technology. So I hope, Sumit, uh, you can go ahead from here. People can ask the answer, and we are here to answer. No problem. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I am seeing a lot of questions. I'm really happy for making this session a very interactive session. Shakti Vishal and a lot of other people have asked a lot of questions. So one thing I would like to say, don't uh, assume anything that we are saying needs to be true. So, you know, but, uh, and I'm not asking you to trust what we are claiming right now. All I'm asking you is that, please ask the right questions and evaluate us on the proofs that you're submitting. We, we, we understand that there are many, many players in the market who are claiming a lot of uh, uh, promises and eventually you are the people who suffer. So, you know, uh, so don't believe what you are saying, but do give us an opportunity to prove what we are saying is what. So please keep asking the questions and let's, let's um, get down to the next slide. So my question to everybody is now you've understood railways. So now, uh, so sir, uh, I'll take over from here. I'll, I'll share the screen myself. Yeah, I, I will stop. I will stop. So. Yeah, can you can continue? Okay, just a moment, please. Just a second. Uh, participants, just a moment, please. So. Uh, You want me to help? No, no, sir. I'm done. I'm done. I'm just sharing. It. So it's visible. Is it visible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Please continue. So, so now, uh, if I ask you, know about uh, what is railway signaling now uh, in in uh, on a uh, at a nascent level? So if I ask you, that, what are the possible ways to get job in railways for an engineer? So what would be your answers? Can you write down the answers in the chat box? Everybody, just type in the answers which you feel and what is the most. Uh, uh, what is the what are the possible ways to get job in the railways? Please type your answers in the chat box if you could. Everybody, just type in the answers if you could. Railway exams, right? So railway exams are the possible, the most appropriate way. So what are people writing? Let me see. So go through RRB exams. Very good. IRCTC, RRB exam, ECE, ESE exams, SSC, BTEC. Okay, RRC, okay. So all these are competition-based uh, uh, methods, right? So now if I tell you, I would like to showcase you something. So let's look at, uh, so for people who are from Southern South part of India, so I would like to shake showcase here is that Kochi Metro, Alstom, which is a railway signaling uh, MNC, did majority of the work for the Kochi Metro. In people who are from Northern part of India, in Delhi, uh, the pink line was done by Bombardier recently. So why am I sharing this with you? I'm sharing this with you to tell you that uh, though DMRC, Indian Railways are executing a lot of projects, so but the entire work, up to 95% of the work is being done by private sector companies who are global companies like Siemens, Alstom, Hitachi, Ansaldo, Webtech, and all those companies, these companies are the ones who are executing these projects on ground. So all they get the contract, they execute it, and they manage it, maintain it, up, upgrade it, they do everything from uh, providing equipments to installation, to commissioning, to maintenance and upgradations. So all this work is being done and around 90 to 95% of this work is being outsourced, especially in the signaling domain. So civil related work, the outsourcing is very less because railways has got internal infrastructures to do it, but especially in the signaling domain, the outsourcing or the contractual outsourcing is uh, to the tune of 90 to 95% because that technology is not with uh, the uh, with Indian Railways, but primarily with these pri private players who managed to build up amazing technologies to 
in the signaling domain. So this is what explains where the new jobs are going to be coming. Where is the career going to be built? So there will be numerous opportunities which will be unfolding in the private sector in these companies, in these top companies. So as an engineer, if you're looking at working in railways, uh, uh, these are the companies to look for. You need to look at these companies and career in these companies to build up career in railway signaling. And, and the good part about building career in these companies are you're not limited to India. Uh, if, you, if you're working good, you get international opportunities to work in uh, uh, Middle East, uh, Australia, US, UK, uh, Southeast Asia, and, and rest of the parts of the world. So now uh, going forward, so uh, these majority of the modernization projects are done by private sector companies. Which are the companies which you're asking? So these are the companies. So uh, Cyan, Texmaco, Thales, Siemens, Hitachi, and Saldo STS. So all these companies are the one which are actually implementing the projects on ground. And they are the companies which are recruiting engineers like you uh, as signaling engineers. So this is uh, uh, important uh, information which I wanted to share. So now, uh, how to get into, so what is the kind of work that you actually do when you get into these companies? So, you know, uh, your profile can be divided into two broader categories. So once you enter a, a company as a signaling engineer, they will give you, they will offer you an outdoor career. What is an outdoor career? Whatever is out of the office. Let's, let's, let's understand this very simply. So installation, testing, commissioning, and maintenance are the portfolios which will be given to you. For example, a new station is coming or probably some Metro work, a met, new Metro line is coming. So uh, all the railway signaling uh, engineers uh, would be part of installation, testing, commissioning of those lines. And even, and once the commissioning is done, they'll be part of the maintenance activities. Now there is another set of prof profiles where uh, signaling engineers are required, where, which is around designing. So uh, doing a, a signaling plan, uh, a designing from a engineering plan, then estimating the uh, project cost, documentation, validation, and verification to be done. Uh, it's uh, primarily around safety, testing, simulations. A lot of companies are building up simulations to, to avoid accidents, uh, improve upon safety. So, so these the indoor career is about designing, documentation, safety, testing, and simulations. Outdoor career is about installation, testing, and uh, commissioning and maintenance. So these are the two broad branches open for you once you get into this field. And uh, so what do these, uh, so, so what happens is that uh, if you've done, if, if you, if you, um, you can expect to earn around seven to 10 lakhs of CTC in two, with two years of experience in this industry, as you move forward in the industry. So, uh, so this is how the, the uh, career uh, growth happens. So you join as an associate signal engineer, a salary range, three lakhs to 4.5 lakhs with two to three years of experience. You, uh, you get uh, you become a design engineer salary is somewhere about 4.5 to 6 7 lakhs after that there is a there is a significant jump why because uh, 3 years of ex experience uh, gives you a good uh, amount of understanding uh, on managing projects so from there you start becoming a senior engineer uh, somewhere in the range of 10 lakhs then you around 5 to 10 years of experience the salary ranges is uh, is almost about 10 to 20 lakhs 10 plus onwards you primarily get into management role where your salary ranges from 20 to 35 lakhs. So after five years, a lot of opportunities in the international domain opens for you. So there are, we, we also have got students from uh, our course who, have de, who, who, are, uh, who got uh, placed internationally. So, but the point was he already had a, a two year work ex in, uh, in the domain. So he got placed outside. So he, got, he, he went to Middle East straight away from the project. So, uh, so there are stories, and uh, we also had got people who are working professionals. So he, so there was a, uh, there was a candidate, there was a student with us in our first batch, uh, who had uh, experience, and he passed out with a package of seven lakhs from the campus itself. So, uh, so this is the kind of growth path we offered. Now moving forward from here, so now uh, how we can help you in building career in railway signaling with top signaling companies? Now that's an important question. So. Uh, so what we've done, uh, what Railway Academy and MS Ramay University of Applied Sciences have done is that we have created a place, uh, a program which guarantees placement. So what do we mean when we say we guarantee placement? There are certain factors and criteria you need to meet, which I'll explain you so that you, uh, so which I'll explain you, uh, which will help you understand wh what you need to do to be eligible for a placement guarantee. So let's go forward. 
So uh, we have a program which is a UGC recognized program from MS Ramaya University. It's an 11 month program wherein, wherein you actually get a postgraduate diploma in railway signaling and telecommunication engineering, right? So if for people who are looking at doing MTech or MBA, I would seriously request you to evaluate this option parallelly and you will find a lot of advantages with this program compared to MTechs and MBAs. If you're not going to top five or 10 institutes to do your MBO, this, this PG diploma will give you a far better return on investment compared to any MBA beyond uh, top 10, top 15 uh, MBA institutes. So I, I can, I can, I can uh, explain that and I can prove that as well. So uh, this PG diploma, what, why, uh, how does this differentiate? So there are many smaller courses. So uh, uh, one month, two month, but this PG diploma will give you a very good salary growth once you enter the industry in your appraisals and progressions. Our students have managed to, you know, uh, reach uh, seven to 10 lakhs within first two years because of this PG diploma, because the, their, their qualification is being considered uh, uh, valid and appreciated well in the industry. So this is one of the program in India. In India, only two universities are giving. One is uh, Rajbara University and the second one is Ramaya University. So only these two universities are giving this uh, postgraduate diploma in railway signaling and telecommunications. So uh, second one, very important thing, which I wanted to explain is that this course is recognized by IRSC. So what is IRSC briefly I'll explain. It's institution of railway signal engineers. So you have bar council for uh, uh, lawyers. You have uh, uh, chartered uh, cost accountants of India uh, as uh, the authoritative body for chartered accountants, uh, lawyers. Similarly, for railway signaling engineers, there's a body in UK, London called IRSC, Institution of Railway Signaling Engineers, which recognizes the talent and skills of railway signaling engineers. So this program, which we have developed, this postgraduate program has been developed and recognized by this international body, which makes this course recognized in 53 plus Commonwealth countries and it's considered premium and technically advanced qualification. So if, uh, so because of this recognition, this course also has a very good international appeal. So uh, if you, if you go out uh, to UK to work, this, this uh, academic qualification will give you an edge in your interviews and you, you can share this. And, and usually uh, almost in all the companies, the top notch technical person is an IRSC uh, uh, license holder or an engineer, recognized engineer. So they will really understand and appreciate this factor of IRSC in your course. So this is how this course makes it an international qualification. What we do in this 11 month. So this is, uh, this is in this curriculum, you get about six weeks of on the job training in Indian railways, where uh, projects as well as uh, uh, on-site projects on metros around uh, all over India. So, uh, so we've got our students trained. So this, uh, this, Training was done in Ghaziabad. This was in, done in Bangalore. This was in Delhi. This was in Ambala. So our students are sent. So in the seventh or eighth month, our students are sent to various sites where they get trained on uh, hands-on experience, practical training on on the uh, uh, in the projects to get themselves uh, understand the practical aspects of installation, commissioning, maintenance, and even designing. So this is the online and practical uh, training aspect of this. We've got the best faculty. Uh, who have uh, who have come from Iriset Indian Railways? So even Mr. Narayan Parvatikar is from Iriset. We've got uh, uh, one of the best uh, faculty lineup uh, from Iriset who comes down to the university. Or uh, right now, because of COVID, we are doing an online training program. So they will all be teaching you uh, and giving you their experience in the form of the classes. So we've got these trainers who, on an average, have got 25 plus years of experience. So. Uh, really renowned people in the industry. So, so now I would like to in, uh, ask, uh, uh, so this course has around seven uh, uh, modules. So 90 hours uh, of uh, each module is 90 hours, 50 hours of theory, 50 hours of project work or practical covered over tenure of 11 months every day in the, uh, as we're doing classes online, three to four hours is what you need to spend every day. And uh, in industrial training, we, we uh, and uh, we we also teach you software is required to do this. Plus, there are uh, there is a six week training. So, these seven modules will equip you to land any uh, good signaling uh, engineer profile in the industry. So as uh, so now uh, going forward with this, 
uh, what is the how you can do it so i understand uh, uh, times are tough but uh, uh, so who can attend this program so this is meant for pe people who are btech engineers only in electronics and electrical engineers and people who have passed out after 2017 are only eligible for this program people who have passed out before 2017 would not be able to eligible to be uh, would not be eligible for the program now the tuition fees is 2 and 2 lakh rupees uh, we are starting and industrial training fees is 50000 rupees installments and education loan is available you can contact us we'll give you the number all those people who would like to know more about how they can actually sponsor this on their own will be happy to share more details now the most important thing which i'd like to share is the placement assurance so what what when we say placement assurance what do we mean so uh, what are the criteria the first criteria is that you need to achieve a minimum of 80% marks in all the modules during the program or remain in 30% top 30% mark holders in the batch which means that if the class average is 60% so this 80% marks criteria would not be applicable instead top 30% marks holder criteria will be uh, uh, valid you need to submit all your assignments on time without delay you need to demonstrate sincerity morality and honesty during tenure of course and interviews abide by university rules submit fees on time so if you if you uh, if you are able to fulfill these six criteria you get eligible for the placement assurance guarantee so now what is the placement assurance guarantee if you have fulfilled all these six criteria and do not join a company within 100 days of course completion due to uh, company specific reasons or uh, or any other reason so uh, you will be you will continue to receive placement assistance from railway academy and also a payment of rupees 20000 per month till you join a job provided you uh, you've adhered to disciplinary and academic norms of the program so so this placement assurance will give you uh, this is the placement assurance that we provide to the to all the students who enroll into the program and this is given in writing by railway academy so so this is a fairly uh, uh, written document that we comply and adhere to now one of the important things that i'd like to share with you that uh, we have managed to achieve 100% placements in all our last batches and i I'll, i'll be more than happy to share the uh, placement letters also with you so just to showcase you an idea about you know how we are able to do it just give me one minute i'll just share these things with you also so uh so let me showcase some of the of the letters uh, so let's let just a moment please so let me uh, showcase you the offer letters also so let's let's see are you able to see this so this is the offer letters of the person so uh, so now uh, let me showcase you the person name Suresh Khare was a student, so he got placed in uh, Alstom, and his package was seven uh, lakhs. So here is the one, which has which he got. So I can share share the offer letter with you. So so he is one guy. The other person is uh, placed in Ansaldo. So she was a girl from our uh, another batch. So she has got uh, placed at about four point five. as you can see the offer letter she is also joined and is working and uh, so similarly i'll show you some more offer letters also so if you have any other questions if you'd like to ask certain questions please go ahead so as you can see uh, this is for chanchal there was a candidate called gautam yadav who got placed in tech mahindra then again uh, koeda sagar from hyderabad who got placed in ansaldo again uh, 4.5 so this is the package that is usually thales Alice had a lower package, but all these people grew after one year. So Manmohan was a uh, was a fresher B.Tech candidate from Punjab. He he got placed at three point seven eight, and even in COVID times, we managed to place a lot of our students. So the, in COVID times, also we have achieved hundred percent placements. Uh, you can contact us, and we can share more details as we are running short of time today. So if you have any questions, so we I can see a lot of questions. I'll take up some of the questions. Yes, so. Uh, 
I'll take it up. Uh, okay, so let me take up. Uh, yes, so Gautam, uh, Gautam has managed to do. And do we have any any of our PG diploma students in this webinar? Let me see if if there is any PG diploma student in this webinar. So Ayushi, uh, uh, Mahima, are you there? Okay, Mahima is not there. So okay, okay, uh, we can also. Uh, if you if you feel like talking to one of our students, we'll be more than happy to arrange a call con call with our students who managed to get placed for you to get feedback on this. So Sanket, will it be permanent job like government? So you know, as Narayan sir talked about, you know, signaling is one area which does not face recession. So you know, you this is one of the most safest career options available in the world. So, uh, Google or Srikant, is it? It's an, a free placement award. So you know, if you are trained, if you think that you are you are you are skilled enough to qualify a signaling interview, send us your CV. We'll forward it. If you get a chance, qualify and get a job straight away. If you feel you qualified and you've got skill set to you know work in a signaling company, there's no point of doing this course. You can straight away. We'll be happy to help you. If you get a call, uh, you can send us your CV. If you feel that you're very you you qualified and knowledgeable enough to work in a signaling company in a signaling profile. Uh, we'll be happy to share your profile. No need to do this course straight away. We can help you. So this is you can you can do this. Is this? Uh, yes, Shivam uh, Verma. So we we do a training program which assures jobs. I think I've made it clear through this presentation. Fee details I've shared with you. Batch strength is around 20, 25 to 30 students are only taken. 30 students are and uh, any railway specialized branch. So no, uh, only for EC and E. Why EC and E? Because uh, railway signaling companies prefer these uh, candidates. So, sir, I completed. Yes, uh, Challa Vamshika, we can consider your uh, 2008 qualifi 18 qualification. So, Chandu Tamire, uh, you need to qualify and you need to have a valid BTEC degree when you join the course program. If you do not have it, uh, then we will not be able to take you. Suraj, uh, shall we get? Uh, sorry, uh, we, we, we would not be giving a fee concession, but we will definitely be able to help you through installment schemes and uh, education loans. So, uh, and as we are giving a placement assurance, your 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 risk of uh, education loan and installment is secured, right? So, if you don't get placement, you get twenty thousand to pay off your education loan or installment till you get a job. If you get a job, you can anyhow pay it, right? Next is uh, yes, you can take it, Sumit Kashyap. You can contact us. I'll share the number with you, uh, which you can contact. Uh, so here is the number. All those people who want to contact us for uh, for the uh, so the process I'll explain you. So first is registration. You need to pay three thousand to appear for the aptitude test. If you do not qualify the aptitude test in two attempts, we will refund back the money. We will not keep your three thousand. Also, we'll give it back to you. So it is a zero risk uh, uh, registration for you. So you you need to pay three thousand rupees. Attend the technical aptitude test. Achieve 50% to qualify for the course, and then you move forward. If you don't qualify the test in two attempts, your money is refunded back. Uh, up, then, once you do that, you need to uh, uh, book your seat by paying 10,000 rupees, uh, and you will be issued an admission letter from the university, which you can use to process your education loan. So, people who want to fund it from their own pocket can deposit the first EMI and uh, 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 once the classes resume in September first week, you can start attending the course. People who want to go for education loan, pay ten thousand rupees, get the admission letter, get your education loan process. We will help you. We have tie-ups with certain organizations who help, who can help you very quickly with the education loan. So we can do that. People who are interested can contact me on the WhatsApp number and this number. Note it down. Take a print screen. Of this, or probably email your questions to us. We'll be happy to answer them. And uh, so, this is about uh, the whole uh, course structure. Let me take up some of the questions so that uh, uh, let me uh, let me take up some questions. So now, uh, electrical engineer M Tech is is one year by this course is not okay. Placement will be online. So right now, see, it depends, Abhishek Ja. So if companies call you to their offices, you'll have to go. Uh, but last one batch, the, the entire placement process was conducted online. The interviews were done uh, on phone and Zoom and on Microsoft Teams. 
and after the interview the whole process was the whole recruitment process was done online and uh, that's how it was so it depends if probably next 6 months situation might change so admissions have started chandu uh, we'll be rolling out the uh, the classes from september first week uh, you can you can uh, initiate your admission process straight away as we speak upay and majumdar what is your batch strength 30 is the total seats that we have we so depending upon the requirement we have uh, uh, we have taken flexible enrollments so uh, around uh, so you can so 30 is the uh, basically the the seats that we have batch strength so you can explore license how we'll be getting okay mohammad shabir just uh, so uh, about the license are you mohammad shabir are you a working professional in railways do you have experience of railways type in yes or no in the chat box please mohammad shabir no sir okay so i can so i'll give you so please uh, visit our uh, youtube channel and type in railway academy it has got lot of free resources so i would request everybody to uh, uh, visit our uh, youtube channel and facebook page you'll see a lot of proofs there so let me showcase some of the proofs to you so this is our course program so look at uh, so this is railway academy and on this page go to this channel so we keep organizing a lot of webinars free webinars free training so uh, mohammad shabir if you want to know about irsc certificate exam there is a uh, almost a 25 minutes video and uh, so you can check out all these videos so i would request you to check out the videos testimonials of all the students so we keep organizing a lot of uh, training programs free training programs people who feel excited about knowing about railway signaling can visit this channel on youtube learn about uh data management overhead electrification internet of things then metro technologies then uh data loggers safety plus you can also uh find out the testimonials of people how the classes are being done so this is ms ramaiya university uh class experience then why a lot of things so the entire details are available on this youtube channel in addition to that i would also request you to attend our uh facebook page which has got uh, amazing uh, uh information about uh, the trainings and everything so everything we have uh, uh, we have been uh, we have managed to so uh so you can see a lot of uh, programs and everything that we managed to do so have a look at this so these are the students so look at these students that so these were the students who were working uh, during their industrial training as you can see uh, so so they worked on equipment so these are all our students who are working on sites so so hands on learning and knowledge on various sites so so this is they they did this project in up so this she was from our um, 2019 batch so supramati mehta she is working with in science right now then we have uh, kartik priyan he got 5 lakh ctc so as you can see all these were posted when they got placed and uh, suhas 4 lakhs so all these were engineers like you who took this decision to join this career and they're working uh, in this industry so this is the classroom of uh, where you uh, in the university these are uh, mr tawargiri who is another faculty with us uh so this is the student strength that we talking about so you can check out all of these things uh, on our facebook and youtube channel to validate what we have said you can also uh, uh find out the people uh uh on linkedin of, about how this how these people are working so linkedin you can go to linkedin uh, uh you can you can uh visit my uh, you can find me and i have many signaling engineers connected to narayan sir is also there a lot of uh, uh uh you can find out people so let me let me find out uh let's let's find out people who have passed out so jacob was yes find out this guy so he was from a first batch so 2018 he got placed and look at right now he is working so he joined in thales at 3.78 right now he is working as application design engineer at alstom so find out see he's worked with thales for two and a half years uh, right now he's joined in october and he did his post graduate diploma from uh, rajbara university so similarly we've got uh, 
Mm, let's find out. So let me explain you more people. So you can find a lot of students uh, who have passed out from this program. You can find out are they really working in this field or not. So all these information is available. Uh, rail and transportation engineering. Manish will have to uh, consider your space, uh, uh, consider your uh, uh, qualification separately. So right now uh, we have got mandate to do it only for electrical and electronics engineer. And uh, that is it. Any other questions you'd like to ask, feel free to ask or what you can do. Yes, mandatory. Rajesh uh, Chomojula, it is mandatory to have a BTEC degree. Without BTEC degree, uh, you may not, you will not be an, uh, eligible for this course program. So, so you can contact us on this and thank you so much for your time. If you have any questions, just WhatsApp me Add this number uh, on WhatsApp and follow us on our YouTube channel and uh, Facebook page. And, uh, and we'll be, uh, we will keep sharing uh, awesome training programs. Majority of them are free of cost. So you can uh, start attending two to four hours of training programs which are usually free of cost to enhance your learning in railway signal. Whether you're joining this course or not is not important, but I would urge every one of you to stay connected with railway signaling. Sir, would you like to, Narayan, sir, yes, would you like to uh, conclude, uh, do the conclusion part, sir? Narayan, sir. Okay, I think, uh, so thank you so much for being uh, a patient's audience, patient audience or audiences. So uh, if you have any questions, you're free to contact us. We'll be very happy to answer your questions. Any other questions anybody has got? Okay. Yes, Amit Kuldeep, uh, 2018 pass out. Yes, if you're in like EC or E, double E student, uh, you can uh, be eligible and we'll give you this placement assurance guarantee is applicable for you also. If there is any question about our placement assurance guarantee, let me know. Because I don't have my final rate. So you need to have this, you know, we need a valid uh, degree with mark sheets. Yes, Deepak Kona, you're eligible. Yes, there are hostel facilities, but you don't have to worry about it. Right now, the course is going online. You can do this entire PG diploma right from your house. You don't need to be in Bangalore to do this. No, Akash, 2015 is not eligible. Only people who have done BTEC after 2017, 2017 and afterwards. So if you're interested, uh, you can contact us and we'll be happy to uh, explain you the program, right? Thank you so much, everyone. Any other questions? Thank you.